Welcome to our latest FileMaker Pro calendar. We've been working really hard since FileMaker 10 came out to take all the things we've learned over the last several years of working on the calendar and make a calendar that's simpler and faster and easier to modify. Um, we've been talking about some of these techniques at DevCon and at user groups, and I'm, I'm proud to say that the calendar has really lived up to our expectations. It's fast, it's simple, and uh, I want to show you some of the things it can do. So let's take a look. We're going to land on the day view, and you can see that we've got some all-day appointments at the top, and then some events that have times associated with them um, towards the bottom here. And um, we've implemented drag and drop, so I can kind of drag this 10-15 uh, appointment down to make it a little longer and see a little bit more what's going on there. Um, we'll talk about drag and drop some more later, but you should know that that's not done with any plugins. That's just native FileMaker Pro um, scripting, which means that since these are just scripts, you can modify these things. You can kind of change the way this works. That's the the whole idea here. I'm going to flip over to the settings and show you that we also have just kind of an alternate view of the whole thing. This is what we call our simple view. It just kind of shows the records as they would be in a normal portal. Um, whereas I turn the simple view off, now we're trying to place the events where they happen in the day. And let's take a look at the week view. And you can see that we have uh, four more all-day appointments here on the 22nd. I'm going to play around with this drag and drop a little bit more. So I can drag this bar down and now I can see that I have see the rest of those appointments. I can see all, uh, all eight of them. I'll drag that back up. We can always use the drag and drop to kind of adjudicate conflicts. You can see this little red line here says that these two events overlap. If I click in the overlapping event, they'll both pop up. We've made some just pretty simple layouts here so that you can kind of take these uh, event records and extend them. You can add your own attributes here. Maybe this is a, a medical scheduling solution and you're going to add information about the encounter with that patient, some information about the patient's details. But we can use drag and drop to kind of move things away from the schedule as well. Um, we've got a simple context database here that lets you link this event to contacts in your, in your file. And you can see that you can just kind of jump out of here to go to your contacts layout. Again, this is just a placeholder, but you'll replace this with a contacts um, layout that you probably already have. So let's take a look at a couple of other things. We've got some filters going on here and let's say we just want to see those events that are waiting and late. We've just got a couple here. It's probably more interesting if we go over to the month view to do that. And I can also click omit and now I'm seeing everything except the things that are waiting and late. But if we don't want to use this area on the side here, we can just kind of hide it, get it out of the way. And now we've got a much bigger view of the calendar, which is pretty cool. And once we've got that out of the way, you'll see that the whole calendar kind of resizes nicely. And I'll just return to these filters and turn these little guys off so we can see all the events again. So we've got a lot of events going on here. You can see three more, two more, 14 more over here. I don't think the next month has that much going on. It's got a few things happening to it. The reason I wanted to flick to another month is I want to show you something pretty cool here. Take a look up here. So that seed code in parentheses, that means that this calendar is being served. It's I've opened it over the internet from a server of ours in San Francisco. And if you go up here, you can see that I've just opened it over our little wireless connection, our little airport connection. So this calendar is really fast, uh, fast enough that I can demo it over a wide area network for you. And the reason that it's fast is that we've eliminated all the round trips to the server that FileMaker was having to go through because it had a lot of relationships. We've taken those relationships out and moved them into scripts. That gives us two things. It gives us scripts that are easy to work with, portable, and easy to debug, and it gives us a relationship graph that is really simple. This is all that's required for the calendar to work. You'll add some tables to your solution, copy this portion of the graph, and the calendar is in your file. And these are your tables, your events table, which is probably linked to your contacts table. That's it. Please download the demo. Check it out. There's a lot more going on here than we've been able to show you in this quick video. But uh, I think you'll really enjoy it, and thanks for checking it out.